So, original footage just before the crash, and you'll see how quickly it happened and how the moon continued oscillating afterwards. We'll look at about 10, 12 minutes of footage right after the crash. Object goes by as dim as it may be you can see it right before that object crashes into the moon which is gonna happen in about three two one seconds I'll get a circle up over it remember yes it is footage right here still slowed down there it is hitting the moon and we saw that object cross the path no matter what it is and here you can see that now the moon is oscillating a lot and it's going to do so for the next I'd say about 13 minutes until it really slows down after about 13 minutes and only it goes back to the outside of the moon which is that normal rolling that we see on the outside so I tried to focus on the moon and I couldn't for at least five minutes then I was able to focus but you could see the, uh, clearly an oscillation now look what was going on obviously chemtrails were being sprayed at the top and in front of the moon so that's not helping at all because it's very cold outside and when it's cold you don't get any oscillation like this so it's not because of um, the atmospheric disturbance necessarily it's something that's on the moon that's being affected and you can clearly see it and I'll zoom up in the waves along the way to show you guys um, hey Kenny hey Howard hey everyone thanks for stopping by check it out we'll zoom up really close to see the oscillation on the surface it's really trippy now don't forget guys this is still a couple minutes right after the crash I didn't stop we're only a couple minutes into the footage if you see two minutes 45 right now well it's because it's about 45 seconds after the crash as we're going on and we'll continue to see how the surface reacts
Some people have to know the truth to enjoy something, I guess, or just to appreciate seeing something that's unknown to us, no matter what it may be. Like when I watch the moon, I don't know what I'm looking at. Does it really matter? Do we even know what the heck we're doing here? Probably not. But it takes away the time of enjoying the beauty of it all. Just enjoy the beauty of it all. Sure, it's all a secret. We see things flying around down there. Looks like people moving down there. Even though we don't know who they are, it's still beautiful and it still says so much and there's so much for us to understand without knowing the entire truth. We're probably not ready for the entire truth. I mean, think of it. As humans, we fight. We can't even get along each other. You think they want to come down here and meet us? Probably not. But you know, they probably don't want us on any harm, that's for sure. Probably watching over us. I believe they are our watchers. And we're now watching them back. Sort of like, I see it as a child in the crib looking up the first time, lifting his head up the first time, seeing his parents. <laughs> our creator, maybe. For whatever the reason you'd like to send me something, here is my mailing address. Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem.